This is my open source implementation of the classic pun game in the Python programming language. It is a really simple implementation with only two game modes, as you can see, single player and multiplayer, with two difficulty levels, beginner and frustrating. The AI is fairly simple, as you can see. Not only the AI is imperfect, but the collision detection is also imperfect on the edges. It is easier to score when you hit on the edge of the pad. That is more obvious on the frustrating mode, frustrating difficulty. The middle part of the of the pad tries to follow the ball. It is fairly accurate, but it is but it is also possible to score, just like I do. Most of the time the AI manages to catch the ball. It's, it's running quite slow because I'm recording the video. But anyway, there's also the multiplayer mode. You can control the first pad with the WASD keys and the second pad with the arrows. This is the easiest way to implement this game, obviously. There's also the middle line. I've tried to imitate some classic versions of the game with a matching scores for each player. On that classic position, in some versions it, it's on the middle of each part, but, but anyway it's quite irrelevant. This, this is the code. The spy game, Peggy and Love Midi. The sounds, I don't know if, if you've managed to, to listen to them. But, but the sounds are pure, purely Midi. Here are some constants, some menu constants, some sound constants the sound for the for when the the ball hits the first pad is this constant sound first player and so on S sound second player sound human scores sound ai scores some pi game specific variables the cliche part clock the pi game in in initialization and the midi some game ob objects the pad the ball It flips a coin to decide which player is going to play first, as you can see here. It tests if it is true. It's either 0 or 1. So, as you can see here, the second player got the ball. Again, again, now me. There's a reset method to reset the position of the ball, a bounce method to bounce off the pads. There's a score object as well to define those numbers, the, the, the parameter value defined its, obviously its value. There's a menu selector class which defines this selector on, on the menu, this little pad. There's also a game class, which is quite a matter of design choice. I could have used global variables, but 
going to post on GitHub and it always sounds ugly to a lot of people, so and it's also quite irrelevant. It makes no difference, at least on this case. And there's the handling of the events. The menu, the changing menu part, the menu man management part. This part is responsible for controlling the AI. As you can see, on the easy difficulty, the beginnerish difficulty, there is a chance when this randint ends in on one, it alters the position of the pad, resulting on the buggy behavior that I've just seen here. The buggy behavior. It's not a decent implementation of an AI for a pong game, but it's quite. It does its job, kind of. And the screen management part, delimiting boundaries for the paddles, so that it so that they can go off the screen. The mathematical part for the for bouncing the ball. And it's just this. Pretty simple. If you want to help me on GitHub with the game, implement something fancy like 16 pads with extremely efficient bots, online multiplayer, whatever. Feel free to do it. That's it.